Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic. Welcome back to the channel. I got a request to check out more from Immortal Technique and his song, Rich Man's World. He's such a great storyteller and, and a, such a great rapper. So I was excited to get another title to check out. If you like what I do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Click the bell for notifications so that you will always know when another video comes out. And without further ado, let's check it out. Elvis's 1963 Rolls Royce. Experts say Elvis sold the car in the early 70s. It was only recently rediscovered. It's been out of the limelight oh, for cool. a very long time. Recently reappeared. You get up and howl about America and democracy. There is no America. There is no democracy. Ah, uh, ABBA. We no longer live in a world of nations and ideologies. The world is a college of corporations. The world is a business. I have what movie is that from? Oh, it's bugging me now. But as we know, Immortal Technique always has facts under his belt. I have a feeling this is going to be about the corporation and the system. This is this is definitely the vibe I'm getting. Rich Man's World, 1%. Yes, clearly. But now I can't remember what movie that... Maybe it'll come to me while I'm doing this video. If not, I have to look it up because it'll bug me forever. The world... It's a business. I have chosen you to preach this event. I spent my day peppering America overseas. Pension for the workers, nigga, please. Embezzlement, etiquette, private settlement. I'm better with Confederate rhetoric from my mansion in Connecticut. Foreclosure that close out the tenement. I twist words like a speech impediment. I hope you got good credit. I, I twist words like a speech impediment. His flows are great. This, this is, uh, Wow. I wonder if I should put closed captioning on because uh, let's, oh, it's unavailable. Okay, I got to get the lyrics. And then they show these two adults. Primetime TV at its finest. All right, let's get back into this because uh, that was sick right off the bat. I have chosen you to preach this event. I spent my day peppering America overseas Pension for the workers, nigga, please Embezzlement, etiquette, private settlement I'm better with Confederate rhetoric From my mansion in Connecticut Foreclosure that close out the tenement I twist words like a speech impediment I hope you got good credit, bitch If not, better get a new job with benefits While I play golf with niggas and get cheddar with New money buys brand new carrots My old money but your great-grandparents You got grills in your mouth, I ain't mad at ya I own every gold mine in South Africa New money buys brand new carrots. My old money bought your grandparents. So we're talking about the Rockefellers, the people who we have no idea how much money they actually have. They talk about how Elon Musk is the richest man in the world. I highly doubt it. I think it's probably more likely that the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds are probably the most wealthy and the amassed fortune is not going to be made available for us little people to find out how much it actually is. I mean, these people know how to hide money. These people know how to embezzle money and they know how to invest and they make sure that you only probably see the tip of the iceberg. Your great grandparents, you got grills in your mouth. I ain't mad at you. I own every gold mine in South Africa. Thanks, baby. You made me a billion. Plus, I own a building for each one of my children's children. That's the shit. Smoke coke in the whip, miss USA sucking my dick. Yeah, what? Fuck the law, cause real jailers for suckers. I go to country club. That's a great line. Real jail is for suckers. I think it should be called green privilege because if you have money, you are protected from jail time. We see it no matter what color the person's skin. If you got money, you get no time. What? Fuck the law because real jail is for suckers. I go to country club prison, you dumb motherfuckers. I ask for 1%. <laughs> in my pockets for a few hundred G's so if I'm ever in court my assets are never free I got a 
job and a house and a bank account when I'm out I doubt that's something you could say and if not then I fake death like Kenneth Lay make money every day the world burns on its axis why y'all struggling to pay taxes I'm getting my money the fastest memos and faxes shredded up documents slush funds through the corrupt continents but they don't want me indicted cause they don't want my dirty laundry aired when I fight it go get my lawyers excited cause what good is a law if you can't rewrite it I got CIA traders what good is a law if you can't rewrite it he talks about politicians in my pockets for a few hundred G's. How do you think politicians leave office multimillionaires? They're all bought and paid for, and that's how they get the laws changed. That's how they get those, those loopholes to pay no taxes. They're just following the law that was written by them for them, right? My lawyer's excited, because what good is a law if you can't rewrite it? I got CIA traders, dictators, so fuck y'all whistleblowers and haters. <laughs> money from al-qaeda you know the whistleblowers i mean does it actually scare them because uh what we've seen come out in the past few years why is nobody in jail nobody's been indicted nobody's been put in prison even though there's receipts for so much stuff we've seen the list if you know what i'm talking about why is nobody in jail i'll invest money from al-qaeda in the bank 9 11 widows go too late to capitalism so i pray to fuck Money talk, so what the fuck I need to say to your girl? I don't pay him the fuck. I pay him the leave. You know my CEO corporate steeds greed. I treat countries like the IMF down on your knees. Real gangsters run the world. Fuck what you believe. I cut down the forest while y'all niggas burning some trees. I get your family murdered for a couple of G's. Cause your working class money ain't with me you think rappers are rich because of songs you heard my labels make some money and have it wrapped the fucking word yeah. <laughs> i knew he was going to call that out at some point as he shows the celebrities throwing money around and stuff yeah they sell their soul to these record labels they're told what to do when to do it what to say where to say whatever it is that they want you to say and you have no creative freedom you make millions of dollars for your record label. They basically are stealing your talent, stealing all, all that hard work that you put in there, or you're just the face and they write all the music. And then people like this are shut down because they're bringing it all to light. We don't want, don't let anybody hear the truth, you guys. You heard my labels make some money and have it wrapped the fucking word. Yacht in the ocean coasting with the sails out. Hey, America, thanks for the bailouts. I made off at the Banco Ambrosiano. Got a waste, got free like El Vaticano. Activist, active bitch, get mad at me because I'm a tax free charity. 80% to the staff and company and 20% to the homeless and hungry. To punch if you look up that, this is why I don't give money to charities. If you look up what the CEO of these charities makes and uh, the amount that actually goes to the cause that they're asking you to donate to, he's pretty much spot on. The CEOs make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Where does this money go? It goes into the pockets of this quote unquote nonprofit organization. I don't understand why they're called nonprofit because they clearly make a profit and they don't have to, and they're not taxed. Same thing with churches. How much money do churches take in from donations? They don't have to pay taxes on it. Anybody can start up a nonprofit and it sounds good. It sounds like these people are doing it out of the kindness of their hearts and they're just doing it for free. It's all about the people. It's all about the kids. It's all about the disease. No, <laughs> they make lots of money off of this. Charity, 80% to the staff and company and 20% to the homeless and hungry. The country got to pay the Fed Reserve. Kick back to the banks. This haven't you learned? You protest cops and patrols on the street. But I bought city hall, so I own the police. Email, Facebook, and the shit you tweet. On a phone company, so I heard you speaking. My suggestion is no correction, no election. Sex with no affection, no invention. To benefit the world, a man will exist till I got the money in my hand. World Bank, interest rate, damn rape on a spot. But I'm a gangster, you gon' take my money like it or not.
pretty soon we're going to own the air that you breathe. Well, they own the water that we drink. I believe Nestle has a monopoly on that. And it's crazy. The same company that sells formula in Africa to women who should be breastfeeding their children. And then their baby gets the formula. They lose their milk supply. They can't afford the formula anymore. So they water it down and the child starves or dies from dirty water. It's like also insidious. And and the more you look into it, the more it makes you feel like everybody up here is evil. They act like they care about the little people, but if it doesn't affect their life, they'll put on that fake empathy and they're going to do it for the greater good. They're going to do it for the greater good of their pocketbook. Yes, that's so true, because people get all worked up about who is the president. He's a figurehead, you guys. The world is not run by the president. The world is run by very select few people who have those politicians in their pockets. Whoever gets elected, we can hope that maybe they'll do a few things here and there to tweak it when they sign their little documents. But uh, in the end, nothing really changes because if it did change, it might affect their bottom dollar. And honestly, I fear for my children's future because it seems to be getting worse and worse as the years go by. The more money they have, the greedier they become, the less human it seems that they are. You know, there are people out there who really do want to change things and, and they get into politics for the right reasons. Either they're not able to get to a place where they can change things or they get corrupted by the almighty dollar as so many of them have. And since there are no term limits, they're career politicians at that point. It's just like my favorite George Carlin quote, it's a big club and you ain't in it. 99% of us are not in it and never will be. I love when there's artists out here who call it out. I would much rather listen to somebody who's going to drop facts like this. Nation, I put them all where they are. End of the conversation. <laughs> well, bravo. So is this a documentary that they, that they did? It's like that fame and fortune, whether you're an artist or a politician, it's like that fortune is, it kind of like corrupts you. And really, I kind of feel that way about, you know, mega celebrities in general. It's like you you look at them and it's just kind of like they're so out of touch with regular people. Once you get to that level, like you're not just a, an average Joe anymore. And I think that they really th feel that way about themselves too. You know, we're just the little peons that buy their music. And then there's people out here like Immortal Technique who sing about things that actually matter in the world and, and hopefully will affect change. His flow on this one is probably my favorite out of all of the stuff that I've heard of his. So thank you for joining me and my rambling on as I do. I hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.